Good morning. Good morning. Is everybody happy to be in the Lord's house this morning? Amen. Amen. Thanks, Pete. So we are going to have a little bit different song service this morning. I don't know if many of you saw on Facebook that I posted, but um, outside of this first song, Anna is going to um, have the rest of our song service. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit more in just a minute. So I didn't do bulletins mainly because we really didn't need a lot of words or anything. <clears throat> but y'all stand. We are going to sing this first song together. But everybody really does know these words because it's just this little light of mine in Amen, our combo song that we do often. So everybody knows this one. working on herself, um, and God has been working on her. And so um, one of the ways that God has been working on Anna, and one of her, truly one of her therapies, <laughs> is um, she's insanely talented like her father, um, is to write songs. And she has been, songs have been pouring out of her, y'all. Um, she has written song after song after song, and they're just absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. And I had approached her several weeks ago. I said, Anna, you can't leave Clinton. You can't leave our church without sharing some of these songs with us. We have They have to hear them. I don't want just me and Neil and Laka to be the only ones <laughs> that have heard these songs. You have to share them. I know that that's what God wants you to do. And she said, okay, I'll think about it. And so with this being her last Sunday with us, she did agree. So um, I had to brag on her a minute because she's not going to brag on herself. But she's going to talk about what um, the songs may have meant to her or why she wrote them a little bit before each one. So it's Anna <laughs> Um So this first one is called Make It Good. Um, and then I wrote this because when you're in the midst of hard times, you can't really see how things could turn out good, how any good could come out of the hard times, um, but I wrote this so it would remind me that God always turns it into good, whether it's for him, for me, it's always for him, so he turns it into something good.
called Hope Overflows. I think it's Aunt Melody's favorite. Um, <laughs> this is just something where I was in a moment of clarity and I realized that hope always does win out. Um, we always have to have hope. And this is the song I wrote. us every single time that he can break those. 
Um, so that's why I wrote this song. When we have those walls up, he always breaks them down.
So this one is actually based off the story in the Bible. Um, I've always been inspired by the story of Paul in the prison singing. Um, and being a singer myself, I feel like my voice and um, this ability is something that I should use for Christ. So I wanted to write a song about that story. And the song is called My Weapon Is My Song. i